Hey guys, today we are in Volkswagen with MIP2 based infotainment system and I'm going to show you how to perform firmware update over here. So first thing that you need to do is press and hold the menu button while the unit is on and go to the software update version menu. Over here you have some details about the firmware that you are currently running. So we can see the firmware version 0245 and we have some software train details. This is very important when you will be looking for um firmware update. So we can see that this unit is running MST2, which means MIP2 standard, not MIP2 high or MIP2 entry or something like that. MST2 is MIP2 standard. EU, this is the region of the firmware. So Europe, um, VW, so this is Volkswagen. ZR means that this is a um, uh, MQB platform car. So this is for uh, Golf Mark 7, uh, Passat B8 and so on. There's also available version PQ, which is for a different uh, sort of cars or on a different pr platform. And here we can see that the actual firmware is P0245T. 0245 is the firmware number over here. And the T at the end means that this unit in the glove box, the mine unit, is made by Technisat. On this SD card, I already have the update that I want to install over here. And when you are looking for firmware update for your unit, it's very important to check uh, check the software train and look for um, firmware which is identical over here at the beginning. So the technology of the unit is the same region, the manufacturer and the platform of the car. All those need to be the same, only this part changes. And for Technisat, it's important to also check those two first numbers. So numbers. So O2. There are also uh, firmwares of uh, starting with O3 and O4, but those will not be accepted by the unit by default. Um, there are ways to install it, but this is not the video about this. So by default, this unit will take only um, uh, firmware updates that starts with O2, and the highest one with O2 at the beginning is O24, uh, O254, and this is exactly what's on this SD card, and this is what we are what we are going to install in this unit. Preparing the SD card is uh, fairly simple. All you need to do is format it with FAT32 file system and make sure that the allocation size is to the smallest one available. And I believe I set it to um, uh, four kilobytes because this was the smallest setting available for me. And um, the card capacity over here is 16 gigabytes, but I believe you can go also with eight gigabytes. Those update files are not uh, larger than four gigabytes mostly, and you should be good with eight. One thing that you should also notice, um, if you have something custom in your unit, like MIP2 standard toolbox, you have a seat unlock patch, you have CarPlay patch, you have some custom skins, this will be removed, this will be overwritten with the default uh, files, so all those things will be gone, and after the update, you most likely will have to install them back again. So now, to be sure that the voltage will not drop, I have my engine running, and right now, to do this all by the book, I'm going to enter the setup, and I'm going to safely remove my um, navigation SD card and my music SD card. And right now, I can remove them from the unit, one and two. And right now, I believe I can insert the update. Maybe let's go back to the mine screen. Let's insert the update. Software update was um, found by the unit. Now press menu button. Go to software update. Now go to update. SD card. New firmware was found. P0254. We can see what will be installed and what's not available for me when uh, where some files will be installed and some not. So basically, uh, some files are not updated because the newer version will not override the things that uh, have not changed. And right now, I believe all we need to do is press start. Confirm over here. Unit will reboot, and all we need to do is wait patiently till the installation is complete. So, see you in a few minutes. 
Okay, 10 minutes later and about three reboots later, we are at this screen. We can see that some things were installed. We have status, okay, 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 so we can go back and press uh, cancel over here. I believe the unit will reboot one more time. And this is the final reboot. After that, we should have uh, access to the system. We will check if the um, software train was updated and if everything works correctly over here. Okay, so the vehicle status is over here. Radio works, but let's not piss off YouTube. Um, copyrights, media, there's no media card right now, so I believe this will not work, there's no source, okay, let's go to car, let's go to, oh, let's press and hold menu button, and let's go to version, and we have 0254, so the update was performed, and what else we can check over here, if I go also to versions, we should see that there's an um, update in the history. So we have the, um, the previous version over here and the updated version above. Okay, so that's it. I believe if I scan the car with OBD11 right now, I will find some faults like um, uh, 1555 or 1556, something like that. I've already made a video about um, clearing those faults, so check the description below the video for mo more information about this and those faults will not cause anything over here so there will be no trouble with the unit but uh, those faults are stored in the unit so each time you scan your car you will see them if you want to remove them there's a there's an easy way to do it so check it out okay that's it for today thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like uh, this tutorial subscribe for future ones and see you soon